Hey there everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play of a wonderful game that, thanks to Jacksepticeye, I learned of, called Oxenfree. Now, this is a rather short game, I would say. It's more story-driven, there's no, like, combat. It's more puzzles and, you know, learning the story and stuff like that. But, I'm gonna start over. Let's go ahead and hit that. Yep. Now, I have played this game before. I've beaten it one time. One time only. So, here's the thing with this game. There are multiple endings. And I mean multiple endings. Like, as far as I know, I think there's something used like to be a 14 different base. endings. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Mm-hmm. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating. Yeah, no, it's a nice per. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Yep. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, I, um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you it's a recording. Know they always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before yeah, show. Let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas, Jonas Salt, Brothers. Right? Patient Zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. My name isn't. Sit down, good. bro. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, now, you brought the radio, right? If they the stop talking one? for two seconds. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? So, here's the thing. There's the little guy. Our there high school go. has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our the thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. 
But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Alright, now can I talk? Jesus Christ, this game just decides to love doing that. So like I was saying, this game is a really heavy, dialogue-driven game, and your choices actually do affect how the ending goes. You can make friends, or you can make enemies with a lot of these characters, if not all of them. So, you want to do it the right Smell way. That clean air, boys or at least, and girls. When I mean right way, I mean... This ain't city living. Right for you. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like... No, a... it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. They see, that I guess. made him, like, Though this not is a like really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll right, just make it fast, Jonas. In case... Whatever. Make it fast, Jonas. Ren Come on. seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house. Yeah, no problem. Uh, okay, so you can infer some things. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Come on. See, I actually cut out the dialogue that was supposed to be there. Where it's like, um, nice view, or your mom's dead type of thing. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Quiche. Okay, interesting. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. But yeah, so you can do little investigations and stuff like that to learn this kind of stuff. Now, some of these details are going to be oh, important, others I won't be. this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Ah, shit, I missed it. 102.3, he said, right? Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 army passengers, were lost. 
The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Named after the whole... Huh. Interesting. But yeah, so you can do little stuff like that. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. And you could understand, like, little details about the story. But like I was saying, the Man, dialogue options actually early. do I guess no point in staying open tell you um, here. different things about your story, too. Hello, kid. That's true. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh -huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't like- The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And there... No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family. I think the dumpster will get us over if So we're just going to do that. Budge. I'm, I'm going to cut out their dialogue. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's it. The only person who lives here. She's never left the island. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah. Why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? So, like I was gonna say earlier, oh, before uh, I got before interrupted there, by a... I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Ah. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story, what was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so mm -hmm. let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, yes, what's Jonas, your name the stepbrother. Again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Uh, how, how do you not know this yeah, by well, now? Yeah, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... Clarissa, you are an idiot. <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. 
That's Clarissa, the... Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you Damn. I just met. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had see, to go on there. this is We've the type of thing I would do. For years. I would now, love to do we're this. we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing. No island where right? I live. Right, guys? Yeah, the beach. Island stuff. Yeah. On my way, Clarissa. Nobody likes you. So, while it's loading, what I'm going to say is, this let's play will probably be a lot quieter than everything else that I usually do. I'm going to be focusing more on the dialogue Fire. and... Man's great equalizer. Understanding so what's, what's going the, on story-wise. Um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, oh. killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich. No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first we're gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Ooh. Clarissa. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just face it. I, I mean, I... Sample I, I like the her as a goods. Friend, right? Holy hell. That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay. It's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary Screw Kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. What? Mm. It's fun. It's funny. I don't Mary... know. Mary... And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's Nona. excluded. Well, she sounds cool. I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered. I think. I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. I do, Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be... Like less weird, and you're in a band. Yeah, I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. Which, wow, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. Oh yeah. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious. Look at kid. that fire. That is a so beautiful fire. So Alex's turn. Yep, ladies' choice. Let's Alex see who to, to ask. Who to ask something of. Oh, great! Here we go. Mm. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platinum. Um, no, no. Shut up. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's uh, make it something uh, fun and easy now. So, does Clarissa ever do anything that just like really annoys the crap out of you? <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. <laughs> what? I barely... What? That's it? Come on, didn't she get to, like, second base with your cousin or something? Hey, he kissed me on the cheek when he was six on the swings. That counts. 
Um, Nona, you're up. Oh. Ooh, that fire uh, is pretty. Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A better question would be, what would she get when the artist refused to draw two dogs eating a dead baby on her forehead? I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And wow. the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So why are you put such a bitch? And hear why. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why? Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, Clarissa, you're a bitch. What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should... Let Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And get that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Clarissa, you are the biggest well, I bitch I want to inaugurate this, this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Shut fine. the fuck up, Jonas, Clarissa. you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Yikes, I know that feeling. Alex, you wanna check out the caves or? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Skyrocket. Come on. I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever we never you're ready. About John. Oh, what? They're So, dead? the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it going to be? Uh It's Ren. So, definitely 10. I was about to say he if you stayed there, you could easily, actually listen in on their conversation. He has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Come on, Chris boys. seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. What do you like about her anyway? I, uh, I don't know. I just think she's hot and cute. And I don't know. She's cool, that's all. I, I just like her whole vibe. Okay. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie time. Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too. My right? dude getting Jonas? baked. Me comida, su comida? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Hmm. My guy. Delicious. My guy. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. All right.
Morse code. I'm trying to figure out what they want me to listen to right now. Oh, there it was. Holy crap! Um. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How? How is this? How can this be possible? Weird. Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather magic balloon or something. Light? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not how that, that works. Doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too. I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Okay, Morse code in there. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa. Oh. So Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Um... Satanic. Satanic. What's Not wrong what with I was that gonna say. But What's wrong with that one? It was actually... Sounds more like outer that? space, but... I don't know what to do with that there's one. There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous... No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. Go. I, um, I want to go didn't spelunking. Mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Yeah, Fortune you, you, my, favors my the dog bold. is faded. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> I mismeasured the magic. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave off the episode here. I'm going to wait for them to get through their dialogue. But every time you see the photograph come up, that's the end of a chapter, pretty much, an end of a segment, and it'll save right there. So... I'm going to leave this episode off. Let me quickly hit stop there. I'm going to hit the I'm going to leave the episode off here. It is now 10 p.m. in game. We're going to leave it here. You can actually check out the photos right here. So, we got all these photos, the picture of Nona and the gang. Uh Ren, Jonas, and Alex. And then these two. Uh, we actually never took that picture. That must be her brother. But yeah, so there's at least four more pictures we got to take. But yeah, and then there's these letters that you can find scattered throughout the game. But yeah, so I'm going to leave the episode off here for now. I'm going to put subtitles on because that's going to be good for the next episode. But that's it for Oxenfree for today, guys. I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Oxenfree, where we go deeper into this cave. We go spelunking, see what the what's going on here. And then, you know, see what's going on with the weird satanic outer space magic bullshit rock thing that's going on we'll figure that out too so either way guys go ahead and give this episode a thumbs up you know just do me that favor it'd be awesome it means a lot and then leave a comment down below what you think.